Hey everybody, it has been a very long time, but I am making this video message for the men today. There are several videos that I'm going to be bringing out specifically for men, and I want to talk to the singles, but let me just tell you weasels, I did miss you. Um, some of you all may know I lost my mother in February of this year, so I have taken a very big break off of YouTube I have not made any new content so I said it's been a very long time because back in um <clears throat> excuse me in probably October of 2021 my mother started getting sick and she had got COVID and we didn't know at the time so it went from COVID and then pneumonia came. I'm not really clear on which came first. If like the pneumonia came first and then the COVID, I don't know. But she was not feeling well, you know, back in like October of 2021. And then it just got completely out of hand in December. And in January, she wound up collapsing, um, you know, in the lobby of her building and she went to the hospital and eventually about a month later while in the hospital she had passed away so i just want to throw that out there uh you guys you know are very um transparent with me when you guys email me when you guys send me uh letters when you guys inbox me on my facebook and instagram page you guys share a lot about your personal lives with me and you all look to me for advice and so i want to be transparent with you guys and just tell you this was a particular storm that um i have been going through for this year in 2022 so it's been kind of rough with that but I feel a lot better and I had to I had to get back on. So um, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. You know, I, I stay in prayer. I spend a lot of time alone, you know, in my private time. And so God always gives me the strength to go on no matter what I go through. But anyway, let me get to it, weasels. Let me get to it because there are so many different topics. And these are kind of heavy hidden topics. And I know that some of my new video messages are definitely going to be triggers. I know that they are, but I have to talk about it. This particular video message that I'm talking about today, and it's for you men. Um, and I always tell you guys when something is disturbing to me. So I have to talk about this. Men, when I did my, la my last video, I'm sorry, it was live. And I was just talking about singles. Like I said, I have some more videos for the single people. But one thing that I wanted to address with men, um, <clears throat> you guys need to stop inviting women to your house. You guys like literally need to stop inviting women that you don't know to your house. And this is something that I've um, experienced lately. A lot of different men they will try to talk to me and they will try to engage me and that's fine but one thing that makes me extremely uncomfortable is how open and how free a lot of men have become inviting women to their house and to me i can't speak for other women but i'm gonna just tell you guys quickly about me when a man tells me he's interested in me and he wants to date me and he immediately goes to inviting me to his house i am going to make the assumption that you don't want to take me out you don't want to go anywhere in public because your house is your sanctuary that's your territory you feel comfortable there and if you want to try to pull something like i said it's your house now don't take that the wrong way i'm not saying that all these men out here are rapists i'm not saying all these men out here are trying to like sleep with women but it comes off that way when you all show interest in a lady and you haven't even started courting her you don't even know who that woman is a woman can be a serial killer a woman can no guys in the hood that are drug dealers and gangbangers and she can set you up 
for your whole apartment or house to be cleaned out. She could set you up to be robbed and you're inviting her to your house. Why? Why are you inviting women to your house and you don't know her? That's what my video message is. The times that we living in is very dangerous. We are living in perilous times. We are living in very dangerous times. You do not know what frame of mind people are in. And it's scary how quick you all will step to a woman. And before you even get to know that woman, you, you're not asking her questions about herself. You're not taking her to dinner. You're not taking her to a movie or to a museum or wherever. But you will hurry up and, and zoom to, hey, you want to come over? I You know, I can cook dinner for you here. And I'm not saying anything is wrong with that. It's a sweet gesture. But if you don't know that woman, why are you inviting her to your house? I Don't invite me to your house. I don't want a man that does not know me inviting me to his house. And guess what? If I was dating a man and he invited me to his house, if I really didn't know him and I didn't sit back and um, and I'm talking about I had to really, really know him for a while. I'm not talking about no two or three months. Like I'm, 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 I'm hitting on probably one year. And if I haven't sat back and really studied you and probed you and I don't really know your character, I would feel very uncomfortable you inviting me to your house. Because I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm trying to understand why are you inviting me over to your house? And I'm so tired of hearing men say, oh, well, you know, I don't want to waste my time and I don't want to waste my money because you will spend money on these women and take them out to eat or you will take them out for a drink and then you'll find out she doesn't even like you. Okay, listen, that's another video I'm going to make. But let me just say this real quick. You guys have to stop categorizing all women. Your personal experience with one or two women, stop making it like all of us women act the same and do the same. This is why it requires you to be very upfront and honest with a woman. Why don't you just tell her what you want? If you want sex, tell the woman, hey, listen, I like being single. I don't want to be tied down. I'm really just looking for somebody to periodically have sex with and hang out with. I don't want to really court you because I'm not trying to get married. I don't believe in marriage, if that's your thing. Um, I don't really believe in dating. I don't want to waste my time spending money on you because I really don't even know if you really like me like that. But if you find me attractive and you feel in my vibe, then, and you, and you know, you on that page with me, then let's do that. I think you all should probably be more open and honest and have those type of conversations. But let me tell you, see, I'm going to have to put a disclaimer out about myself. I don't promote premarital sex. Nothing has changed with that. I'm letting you guys know. I, under no circumstances, promote premarital sex. You guys are going to probably get tired of me saying that. But I'm always going to say that. So I don't believe in sex be before marriage at all, point blank, period. But I understand people are in the world. And you all, as I say all the time, you're going to do what you want to do. But be upfront. Be honest with people. But men, stop inviting women to your house. Especially women that you approaching and you running up on her in the mall, you running up on her in the grocery store, you running up on her and she's standing on the bus stop or you met her at a mutual friend's house because you don't know that woman. And if you out, if you guys, I hear so many stories of men inviting a woman to their house and when a woman comes to their house, you know, they have left out their house a couple of days later after that woman was there and they got robbed. Or somebody broke into their apartment and they took specific things out of their house or their apartment because their woman knew specifically where certain things were. She knew where the guy jewelry is. She knew where the guy kept his stash of cash. She knew where the guy video games and his PlayStation was. Like these, these are real situations that people have brought to me and that I've seen with my own eyes. Stop being quick to invite people over to your house. You don't know what these people are. That is the message.